Hello Year 7, welcome back to Lesson 3 of Spanish and the Summer Term and today you're studying Los Deportes, Sports. And here's a list of the equipment you will need for today's lesson. You will need the exercise book the school gave you, your knowledge organiser from Module 5 which is a chat attached on class charts so you can just open up a tab and have that on your computer a pen and a ruler for underlining and writing, some card or paper to make flashcards, and you can also open wordreference.com on a tab on your computer, which is the online dictionary to help you with any words you can't find in your knowledge organizer. So pause to get that together now. Please remember to email me if you have any questions at all about the activities in this lesson and also to send me lovely photos of your work to get very well deserved achievement points. My email address is just there. OK, so just a note on presentation again, write down your date first of all in Spanish. And you'll be able to check it on the next page and your title. Que deportes haces? What sports do you do? And also your objective, which is to learn how to say which sports you play. So a do, do now activity will take about 10 minutes. You'll write down your date, your title and the objective. And then you'll add the correct ending onto the verb salir and hacer, which you learnt yesterday. Try to do it without looking in your book to see how much you remember. And then you can check when you correct your work. Write the verbs in full in Spanish and in English. So on the left hand side, we've got salir to go out, which is the infinitive. And then the first part is done for you, e.g. salgo is I go out. Hacer is on the right hand side, which is to do and the infinitive. And then because um, the first part, the I part of I do has got a different letter in it that's written for you, okay? So pause now, complete all of that for me and press play to check your work. OK, so today's date is Friday the 1st of May. So viernes el primero de mayo. And your do no activity. Let's check and check your answers are correct and correct anything that is incorrect. So salir, to go out, infinitive. Salgo, I go out, was your example. Sales, you go out. Sale, he, she goes out. Salimos. We go out. Salis, you go out. Don't forget the accent there. That's you plural. Salen, they go out. Muy bien. Hacer to do, the infinitive. Hago, I do, which was the irregular part. Haces, you do. Hace, he, she does. Hacemos, we do. Haces, you plural do. And don't forget the accent there again on the E and Athen, they do. OK, pause now to check that's correct and make any alterations to your work. Excelente. Well done. Year seven. Now I'm going to pass you to Miss Clinton, who's going to teach the rest of the um, lesson. And I will speak to you tomorrow for the lessons. Adios. Okay, moving on to activity one, we're going to spend about 10 minutes practicing some speaking. So I'd like you to repeat each of the phrases after me three times. For example, I would say, Ago ciclismo. You would pause your video and you would say it out loud three times. Ago ciclismo. Ago ciclismo. Ago ciclismo. Before you then press play again. Pay attention with uh, your H's. Remember, they are silent. OK, so let's have a go. Ago ciclismo. Ago equitación. Juego al OK. Remember, I don't want to hear any juegos here. Juego, so it sounds like an H. Juego al OK. Juego al tenis. Hago natación. Hago patinaje. Juego al voleibol. 
juego al fútbol. Hago esquí. Be careful here not to say esquí. I want to hear esquí, like a key in a door. Hago atletismo. Juego al baloncesto. Okay, continuing our speaking practice. Now after I say each sport, you're going to add how often you play it by adding a time phrase at the beginning of your sentence from the box on the left. For example, I would say, Hago ciclismo. You would pause your video. You would then choose a phrase, a time phrase from this orange box here. For example, I might say, Todos los días hago ciclismo. Every day I ride my bike because I ride to work. So let's have a go. Remember to pause the video in between each sport. Off you go. Hago equitación. Juego al hockey. Juego al tenis. Hago natación. Hago patinaje. Juego al voleibol. Juego al fútbol. Hago esquí. Hago atletismo. Juego al baloncesto. Ok, activity 2. You're now going to spend about 10 minutes writing down all the phrases into your book. Write the Spanish and the English in full. So there are all your Spanish at the top and underneath you have the English. So you would write, hago atletismo, I do athletics. Remember to include all your accents as well. So when you're writing, hago equitación, you have an accent on your own. When you're saying, I do skiing, hago esquí, you have an accent on your I. When you're saying, I do swimming, hago natación, there's another accent there. And lastly, an accent that people always forget, juego al fútbol, there's an accent on your you. So pause the video now and get writing. Okay, you're now going to learn this vocabulary by making some flashcards. So spend about 10 minutes to make them and also learn them. So remember to write just one Spanish phrase on one side and then on the other side of the flashcard, the English. You might also want to draw a picture to help you remember the phrase. Here are your phrases for you then. Off you go. Okay, let's see how well you learnt those new phrases. So I'd now like to spend about 10 minutes testing yourself by translating the phrases below into your books. Write both the Spanish and the English. So here are your sentences and I've given you the time phrases on the left to help you as well if you need some extra support. Pause the video now. Okay, let's correct your answers. Um, please change anything that you may have got wrong. So number one, twice a week I play hockey. Number two, every day I do swimming. Number three, on the weekends I do horse riding. Number four, los fines de semana juego al fútbol. Number five, los sábados hago patinaje. Make sure you put your accent there on the A as well and then on four, fútbol. Número seis, los martes hago esquí. You've got an accent there on your I. Okay, let's go into the grammar a bit more now. We'll spend about ten minutes. I'd like you to write down everything you can see below in just a moment. So I'll talk it through with you first, then you'll pause the video to write everything down. So in Spanish, if you want to say you play a ball sport, so anything like tennis, netball, hockey, you have to use the verb jugar, which is to play. Remember it is always followed by 
al, a l. Okay, so it, for example, you would say juego al football. I play football. For all other sports, you use the verb hacer, which means to do. For example, you would write hago atletismo. I do athletics. You wouldn't, for example, say juego al atletismo. I play athletics. It wouldn't make sense in English either. So for all other sports, which are not ball sports, you use the verb hacer. And therefore, you to say I do, you would say hago. And lastly, remember sometimes in English we might say I go swimming or I go horse riding. However, in Spanish, you must still use hago, which means I do, and not use boy. So you wouldn't say boy a la natación, for example. Pause the video now and get writing, please. Okay, for the last few minutes of the lesson, I'd like you to test yourself and on how well you've learnt that grammar point. So, for each example, should you use juego or al or hago? I'd like you to look at the picture, therefore, and say the whole phrase out loud before the five seconds are up. For example, here someone's playing football. I know it's a ball sport, therefore I would choose juego al football. And I would say out loud, juego al football. Let's have a go. Hago natación. Hago ciclismo. Juego al golf. Make sure you didn't forget to say the al there. Juego al tenis. Again, a ball sport and therefore you're using juego al. Hago equitación. Here you're using hago because it's not a ball sport. So you can't use juego al. So if you have any minutes left to use up your hour year seven, um, the extension would be to learn box seven from your vocabulary knowledge organizer five. So this box here highlighted, which is the sports that we've been learning today. So just want to finish off with saying well done for today's lesson and thank you very much for your hard work. Keep it up your seven. You're doing really, really well. Please remember you can always email your teacher if you have any questions um, between 9am and 3.30pm. If you think you worked really hard today and you think you deserve an achievement point, remember if you send your teacher some pictures of your work, they can also award you some achievement points. So have a really lovely rest of the day y hasta luego.